Dane Eckert, Eckert Gallery here at Art Hamptons, and you're a New York gallery. I'm in Millerton, New York, which is in Dutchess County, up about an hour and a half north of New York City. Well, it's summertime, and look, <laughs> look at what we're in front of here. Yes, uh, ice cream. This is uh, Michael Kalish, who is an, a Los Angeles artist, and everything he does is made out of vintage car and truck parts, mostly from uh, the 70s, 60s, and 70s, and he makes these beautiful imagery with it and he's getting ready to have um, an exhibition uh, out, outdoors in New York City um, on Pier 83. I think it's going to be this uh, fall sometime of a, of a monumental sculpture that he's done using all these, old, again, all these old parts. Jane, I see uh, Alexander Calder, mm -hmm. Andy Warhol. Mm -hmm. Your gallery incorporates the the, I'll, I'll say the uh, the greats, <laughs> the names that have become, but also up and coming artists. Yeah, I, I only have about four or five living artists that I work with, and but I've tried to pick people that I feel complement the great artist. And I think putting these two together, if you look at this great pop imagery of Calder and this current artist of today, that's kind of what I like to try to do. Ernie, I want to introduce you to Eric Forsman. Now, he's actually my best-selling artist, and he's a realist painter, uses no photographs, paints everything from life. Well, my, my work is cent centered on my world, things that I know from uh, around where I live, things in my studio, um, but really ba everything's based on the actual, and the, the real things. And uh, I paint from direct observation. Um, I don't use, like Jane said, no photography. Uh, and, and, you know, I just let it, it kind of be what it is. So your inspiration is the world around you? And Absolutely. Abs that, that would be, I would say, the easiest way to distill the matter would be, uh, yeah, the world around me is fascinating. And these are reminiscent of where you live? Well, it, that is an actual place. That's Amenia, New York, a real small old rail town that's kind of uh, fallen on some, not really hard times, but it's uh, seen its day. and. Um, but it's got its own beauty. Uh, not the kind of place would be on a postcard necessarily, but um, I, I, I love it nonetheless. And the dimensions that you work in are quite different than most of the other artists that I've seen. It seems you've taken a uh, more of a panoramic right. view. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I have always had a hard time stopping my eyes or my head from seeing the whole thing and it seems like you find one good thing in a scene and just next to it is something else and so it just keeps stretching. 